What's up, I'm Cousin Tino. On this particular video, we have a very special guest. I'm super excited. It's Carla Bonner. You may recognize her, and actually like most of you would recognize her from the iconic TV show, or it's really an institution, Neighbors. So believe me, you wanna stick around for that. What's up, I'm Cosentino. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome to these videos where I teach you how to perform magic using everyday household objects. And today, we have a very special guest. Carla Bonner is going to be helping me out. She's going to be learning the magic with you guys in the exact same time so you can learn along together. With that being said, this will be our very first special guest. We are so excited. If you haven't subscribed, do that right now. Turn on the notifications, write some comments, and we'll get started. All right, so here I have my very special guest, Carla. Thank you so much for coming along. What an honor, what a pleasure to have you here. Oh, thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. <laughs> yes, and I'm going to, well, I'm going to perform a trick for you. Yeah. Then I'm going to teach you the actual trick. This is the first time I've taught somebody the actual trick. Yeah, you're the first guest that we're having here. So very honored. Oh my gosh, and that's a huge privilege. <laughs> yes, everybody will be learning along with you. Okay? okay. We'll take it step by step going through the secret and the method. So to begin, I'll perform the trick as if it's supposed to look when it's done by a real magician. Okay. Me, okay? <laughs> All right, so here we go. Carla, I'm gonna make a little prediction using the blue cards. I'm just gonna select a card that will be the prediction. Actually, like, I can't even show you. I just need to look at you and think about what card I think you will select. Mm, this one. Nope. I'm gonna go with, no, that's close. Go back here, where are we? Okay, that. That's going to be, yep, that's gonna be my prediction. But I don't want you to see it, okay? okay. That means I've committed myself to that card, okay? So I can't change my mind now. It's done. Okay. okay? Let's hope I get this right. <laughs> okay, another pack of cards here. I'll show you they're all different. Mm -hmm. And I'll show the camera. All the cards are different. That's important. And we're gonna give the cards a quick little shuffle, little mix up, okay? Just like this. Okay, now, I'm going to run my thumb down. You're going to call stop. Right. You get a random position and therefore a random card, okay? Okay. So call stop whenever you're ready. Stop. Right there. Okay, good. Take that card, have a look. Don't show me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Have you got it? Yeah. Good. Okay, I'll take the card back. Yep, yep, yep. I'll put it back into the pack. I won't look. We're going to put, you can see it going back in. Yeah. Goes back into the pack like so. Mm -hmm. Okay. I need you to think about the colour of your card. Look at me. Think about the colour. There's two choices. There's red cards and black cards. Mm -hmm. Now, Carla, I need you to say yes to everything that I ask you. Do you understand? You need me to, even say if it's... Yes. Okay. Yep, no matter what. <laughs> okay. Sometimes you'll be telling the truth. All right. Sometimes you'll be lying. Okay, great. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yes to everything. Yes. Good. Is your card black? Yes. Oh, very good. Is your card red? Yes. Oh, you're telling the truth. Okay, that's good. It's a red card. If it's a red card, it has to be a heart or a diamond. Yes. I want you to say no now to everything. Is your card a diamond? No. Is your card a heart? No. Okay, so it's a heart. <laughs> I can tell. I can tell. All right. I can definitely tell. I can tell. I can hear the tone change. Okay. I'll, okay. Uh, okay. Should I keep it neutral? You keep it neutral. Okay, 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 okay. Number cards, picture cards. Think about them. Say yes to everything. Is your card pictures? Yes. Is your card numbers? It's numbers, okay, I can see Twitch. Okay, so it's a number card. I'll call out the numbers. <laughs> when you hear your number, see it go off like a light bulb. But don't, tr give me your best poker face. Okay. When you hear your number. Oh, I was meant to have poker face the whole time? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. That's good. Okay. okay, yeah, here we go. Okay. Numbers, ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You see, blink on ten, so it's not a high card. Here we go. Hi, oh, you blinked again to agree. Okay, eight, yeah, okay, definitely agree. So it's a low card, we know it's a low card. And you're laughing because that means you agree. <laughs> okay, so ace, two, three, four, five, six. Ace, two, oh, it's really low. Three, four, I'm gonna say three or four. Four, four, is your card the, is your card the four of hearts? No. 
It, it's not the four hearts? Yes. It is? <laughs> oh my gosh, good. But wait, 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 remember? <laughs> yeah. Remember, I made a prediction. <laughs> I made a prediction before we started. Look. The four of hearts. <laughs> To perform this trick, it requires a number of different items. But very basic, you need two packs of cards. One card is going to form your prediction, and the other pack, of course, is so you can actually perform the trick and force the card on the audience member. So grab two packs of cards, meet me back here, and let's get started. All right, so now, the explanation, the secret to the trick, should we should I teach you? Do you want to know? Yes, please. I don't know. Do I it. don't know. It's a pretty good trick. Yeah, I think I deserve you to know. You deserve to know? Yeah, you yeah, want to know? Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Totally. And everybody else, as long as they keep the secret though, because, you know, it's a good trick. You keep the secret? Keep the secret? All right, all right. <laughs> to perform the trick, Carla, what I'm basically doing is I'm forcing a card, meaning I'm making the audience member select the card. Okay. You, you're selecting the card. Okay. So before we start, I basically decide which card I want to place or what I want to force. So in my case, I'm using the four, but it doesn't matter. You can choose a favorite card. It can be a club. It can be. It doesn't. It doesn't really matter. But I think maybe for explanation purposes, we'll we'll stick to the four. Okay. okay? So the card I want the audience to select, or the volunteer yourself, is the four, and I'm going to place it on top. Okay. Now before we started the effect, I added to the presentation by going through your pack and pretending that you were going to select one particular card. So I went through your pack and I kind of. I, I, I messed around and went, okay, I think it's going to be this card, I think it's going to be that. But I know that okay. it's going to be the four, okay? okay? Because that's going to be kind of my prediction, because you know it's the card that's on top. So I went through the pack and I selected the four, and then for explanation purposes, we'll use this four, and I placed it on the table. But I didn't let you see it. That's important. You cannot show the volunteer the card, because then you already know what's coming up. Yep. If I'm going to pretend to read your mind, I can't show you the card. So I've gone through the pack, I've pulled out one card and gone, yeah, that's it. And you know it's the four. And I've placed it down as my prediction. That's the first thing you need to do, okay? I'll give you the pack so you can follow along. Now the card that I'm going to force on the audience member needs to match, okay? okay. Don't make that mistake, I've done it before. <laughs> so the four sits on top. Okay. Okay. So now what you're going to do is shuffle the pack. Now, we have shown a shuffle before. It's got a riffle shuffle. We did that in trick number six. So I'll go over it really, really quickly. Do you know the shuffle pack of cards? I'll try. You'll try, okay. So riffle shuffle, you're grabbing the pack on top and the bottom, and you're going to slowly mix them together, like so, okay? Just like that. <laughs> oh, okay, I see, so you're an expert. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay, I've been tricked. Oh, look at my <laughs> I've been tricked. You have fooled the magician. <laughs> You can shuffle a pack of cards. Well, okay, so what we do? No, no, that's that's good. Very good. Okay. So, I'm now when I'm shuffling the pack of cards, I'm making sure that the card stays on top. So once again, to make it easy, I'll use a different card. So you're cutting the pack, and you're slowly releasing pressure in the left and right hands. So you, you know this. You can shuffle, and you're just trying to make sure that the last card you drop is the card on top in your right hand. Okay. So bit by bit, make sure that perfect. Squeeze them together. And once again, for a more detailed explanation, go to trick six in the teacher tricks. So the card is now on top, okay? Perfect. Your, your card is still on top? Or we mixed them up, okay, that's <laughs> fine. Now, you're going to, we'll come back up, you're going to do the force. The force is this. You ask the volunteer to call stop as you riffle through with your thumb, okay? Yeah. They can call stop anywhere you like. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Now you're going to slip the top card off. It looks like this. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm going to do it again. It looks like this, so everyone can see. I grab the pack here, yeah. here using my fingers, yeah. and using these fingers to hold the top card, uh -huh. it slides off and drops. Okay. Now, if I do it in fast speed, you don't really, I mean, you're going to see it now, yeah. as you can see the card, but if I take it away, you don't even really notice it. Yeah, no. So no. that's the technique. Okay. So, pack of cards is held in your left hand, okay? You're going to use your left thumb to riffle through. Once you stop and get what we call kind of a break here, so riffle through and get a break, stop, perfect. You're going to grab the cards, the packet of cards mm -hmm. with your fingers of your right hand and your thumb on the back, yeah. holding the 
top card back with these two fingers. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And you slide it off. Perfect. And then you present that card to the volunteer. Okay. And they there get a select card. Perfect. Now, it's all acting. <laughs> oh, well. Wow. I might well, know a thing or two well, about that. I Let's think give you that do. a go. <laughs> so now, you can reveal the card in any manner. Now remember, I made a prediction. So what you could do is they could select the card and then you could say, the card you've selected, oh my gosh, it matches my card. And the card they've chosen matches your prediction. You could do that. Or you could get a little bit more creative like we did and I pretended to read your mind. Now you uh. could do the reveal in many, ma in many ways. So for example, when people go home, they can try, they can experiment. So what I did is I did this game of yes and no, and it makes it fun. Now I already know what card Carla has selected because I forced it on you. Mm -hmm. So now I'm just playing. Mm -hmm. I'm okay, saying yeah. it's a red card, it's a black card. I'm saying say yes to everything. And I'm reading cues and signals. And when you really blink, or when you really smile, or when you really laugh, I use it to my advantage yeah. and kind of build my story. Yeah. So I say, is it a red card? Is it a black card? I know it's red yeah. and you know it's red. And I ask you to say yes to everything and you will, believe it or not, kind of give clues. Yeah. And I play with that. So you kind of smile when you said red. And I go, oh, it must be a red card because you smiled. Yeah. Then we, we, we move on and we kind of go through the process. I say, well, it's a red card. It has to be a heart or a diamond. So it is a process of elimination. And then I say, this time you say no to everything. And it's really hard when you put someone in a position when you want them to lie, <laughs> they start to giggle or laugh and I take advantage of that. So this is all the acting that comes in. And the acting and the showmanship and the presentation is the most important, yeah. more than the technique, mm -hmm. because you need to build the story. Yeah. Then of course, I know that it's a red card. We reveal that it's in this case, the four of hearts, which happens to also match the prediction. And that is how you perform the trick. It's that simple or complicated depending on how you look at it. So, I'm going to cause a little break. Good. Break there. Grab the cards, the card here, mm -hmm. and pull. Good. Do it again. Slowly again. Mm -hmm. Little riffle, cause a break. Holding the card here. Grab and slide off. Good. Let's do it a little bit quicker. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Okay. Done. Yes. And there you have it. An awesome card trick. It is the foundation for most card tricks or illusions. You need to practice it. You need to watch yourself in the mirror. You need to maybe film yourself, watch it back. Make sure you've got that force perfect. Remember, it's not about forcing the card, it's actually about that acting and presentation. How are you going to reveal the card? Are you going to read the audience member's mind? Are you going to predict the future? Whatever it is, get creative. And once again, what a special episode, having Carla Bonner here to help me out. Very, very privileged. So until next time, guys, thank you so much, and I'll see you all in a week.